So after many, many, many delays, I'm finally about to head in to see the movie Morbius. Now, honestly, I can't say that my expectations are particularly high because at the moment, this movie has absolutely no positive buzz. The trailers were meh at best. There's all sorts of rumors circulating about the trailers being highly misleading. And so I just want to have a good time at the movies. I'm hoping it can at least be that, but maybe that is even setting my expectations too high. I'm going to go ahead and watch it and then I'm going to share my thoughts. So I just got out of the theater from watching Morbius and unfortunately... So Morbius is the latest film in Sony's Spider-Man universe and the latest film where Sony takes a Spider-Man villain and makes them the hero of their own story. The first trailers for this movie came out over two years ago and it has been delayed over and over and over again. And then finally they decided to release it on April Fool's Day, which doesn't seem like the best idea if you want people to take your movies seriously. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. My take on it isn't the right take. It's just my take and I would love to hear yours. And let's get started with the good. And to be perfectly clear, I don't think that this is a good movie, but I don't think it's the utter train wreck that the early buzz and Rotten Tomatoes score would indicate. As of the last time I checked, it was at a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, and when I put my score in, it'll go down even a little bit. But I don't think it's just a total disaster of a movie. It's just very generic and blah. And at its core, the movie's kind of an older style of comic book movie. It's more simplistic. It's not as sophisticated in the storytelling. There's not as many characters. There's not as many moving parts. It's more straightforward. And I actually appreciate that about this movie. I like that Sony is trying to put out these comic book movie B movies. I think that's a good thing. Not every comic book movie needs to be a sweeping epic with grand scale epic stakes. I want some of them that are a little bit more personal and it's about this guy's relationship with this guy and each of their personal struggles. And that side of things, I appreciated about the movie. Likewise, it's trying to combine superhero action and origin story stuff and someone gaming, gaining superpowers with the horror genre. And so you have action with the spooky combined. You have horror sequences where people being chased by monsters and getting eaten and exsanguinated. You have all of that stuff. And I like the combination of those two things inside of the movie. Likewise, the way that it visualizes some of the ways that um, Morbius uses his powers and this kind of this morphing and the speed jumping and stuff look kind of cool. It's different from what we've seen before with superhero powers and how that kind of plays out. And so, and it's just in general, I would say it's a movie that it's watchable. As much as I don't think it's necessarily a good movie, it's the sort of film that I, I wasn't like dreading watching it. It didn't step on my toes. It didn't irritate me. It didn't make me mad. If someone said they wanted to watch it, I'd be like, well, why, we could pick something else, but I wouldn't be upset about it. It's not tedious to watch, but that doesn't make it good. So let's move on to the bad. And the thing that makes this movie so frustrating is that while it does have this fairly straightforward story about someone with a medical disease, they experiment on themselves and it leads to them gaining powers, but also turning them into a monster. And thus it creates this conflict where they have to deal with the consequences of the experiment, the police investigation related to the other consequences of the experiment, as well as this external threat. It's all very straightforward conflicts. There's no sense of story flow. There's no tension built with any of it. You can look at it and on paper, it should work. All the pieces are in place for a nice, straightforward comic book B movie that someone like me would be like, yeah, it's simple, it's fairly basic, but it's a, a fun comic book horror film. But because the storytelling is lacking, it doesn't really work. It's the kind of movie that, that felt to me like they filmed the first draft, then realized it wasn't very good, and so then they just decided to just cut it to the bone to make it move as quick as possible in hopes that people just enjoy the quick, fast-moving ride. And in doing so, they just removed any depth, any 
expansion on anything. Nothing is developed. It just rushes from plot point to plot point at a breakneck pace. And there's points in time where they'll, they'll say something like, what if he goes after her? And then it cuts to her, and then and she's in her apartment, someone's looking at her, and then the next scene, she's being chased by a different person. And it just kind of moves really quickly and uses narration frequently to explain what's happening. As if, once again, they shot a movie that was two hours and 10 minutes long, and then went, we just gotta make this thing as short as possible. Likewise, when he gets his powers, it just goes into montage mode where he's just talking, and then it shows clips from various different scenes that feel like they were much longer. And the movie does that multiple times where it just says something and then very quickly shows it as opposed to letting the story play out, doing things to build tension in the moment. So when something happens, you feel something that you're scared, you jump, you're excited. It doesn't do anything. It just throws it up on screen and has things happen very suddenly, which just ruins any sense of flow to anything. You can't get engaged with it because it's just stuff happening right in front of you. Even as you move into the back half and some tragic things happen and there's consequences for things and stakes, but you feel nothing because it just happens so suddenly. It's just there and it doesn't do anything to like build the tension in the moment. Like, will he save the day? Will he be able to get there in time? Will we be able to stop this? Things just happen and then it moves on to the next thing and it just sucks any emotion out of it, any excitement, any thrills are all gone because of the way the story is told. And I'm not sure if that's what the director wanted or if the studio just ruined the movie in the editing process, but it's just missing so much of what needs to be there for its story to have the weight and impact that it's supposed to have. But like I said before, it also feels like, feels like they filmed the first draft and that's why they did this. Because at its core, the characterizations are very uneven and not defined. Like Dr. Morbius, it's like sometimes he's super serious and then other times it's like movie star trying to be jokey. But it doesn't feel like a consistent character. Like I couldn't describe his personality to you, what he's like. Likewise, the villain in the story, his actions just feel so exaggerated, how quickly things escalate with him, with the choices that he makes and how quickly it turns into something different that it doesn't feel earned at all. It's just the idea of these two characters and their two different paths makes sense. That's why it's a first draft. Like, okay, yeah, that's a decent idea. That could work, but it's not developed. It's not fleshed out in a way where you any of it feels earned. It just happens very suddenly, very quickly with characters that you don't understand their motivations, don't understand their personalities. They're just on display. Some of the early buzz says that they removed all of the Spider-Man Easter eggs and cameos out of the film. Th that's not true. A lot of the stuff is still in there, but I think what people might have been referring to is that stuff in the trailer isn't in the film as presented in the trailer. They used alternate takes, they used different versions of it, or they changed sequences, but the same basic idea of the cameos that you saw in the trailers are in the film. And so I think what you're actually seeing is a movie that they just kept tinkering with. They didn't know what they wanted it to be whenever they put out the first trailers two years ago, and they've kept tinkering with it. And in light of their future plans, they changed some things up. They just knew, oh, we want this person to appear and we want this little Easter egg there. And they just added things in. And I don't know how much of this was reshoots, how much of it was what. I'm very curious about what happened to this movie because it feels very much like they shot a movie and then it just got dramatically reworked in the editing and a lot got lost in the process. And I don't know if that was an improvement, but certainly the movie we got is choppy, feels like pieces are missing. It feels like they montaged through things rather than telling their story. And in doing so, killed any sort of fun 
that you could have had with it as this comic book B-movie. And then the final thing to talk about with this movie, there are two mid credit sequences. They are related to one another. Uh, they are of note. You do want to watch both of them. I would not say that they're good. I can't say that I'm excited for what they tease, but they absolutely are of significance. They are impactful. They are meaningful. You do want to watch them so that you can have an opinion about them. But once again, I don't know that what they tease in particular in light of the fact that this movie wasn't particularly good doesn't get me excited for wherever they are headed with what these scenes tease in the film. Real quick before I give you my final thoughts, be sure to join me down below in the comments section. Let me know what did you think about Morbius? Was it as disastrous as everyone has been saying or did you kind of have fun with it. Also, I've done a ton of Spider-Man content. I did all the Spider-Man content back when No Way Home came out. You can check out all my Spider-Man content right up here when this video is over with. In the end, Morbius is a film that feels like they shot a script that wasn't quite ready yet and then tried to fix it in editing and just made things worse. I don't think it's quite the disaster that the early buzz and Rotten Tomatoes score would indicate. I do think it's watchable enough but it is utterly forgettable. It's not a good movie. And at the end of the day, for all the time we've been waiting for it, for all the trailers, for all the, I don't know if anticipation is the right word, it's just not even interesting enough to warrant any of that. It's a movie that we're all gonna forget in a week. Overall, I'll give it a C on the entertainment scale of five out of 10 and you can sit this one out. There's no particular reason to check this one out. If you're interested in my Spider-Man content, check out that playlist right over there. Also, I did some videos on canceled Spider-Man movies and canceled Venom movies. I got those right down there as well. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.